sensor motor, sensory motor stage. Did I say that right? Doesn't have an acronym, which is kind of unusual for our world, but if it were, it would be like S, M, something, sensory motor stage. Anyways, this is the stage at which um, kids, uh, particularly it's referenced to infants exploring their environment by touching, tasting, and one day their, their nose turns on and they can start smelling. And so the question is like, at what stage are they at? Um, and that's what this word describes. It's the sensory motor stage. Um, you can think of like examples of an infant grasp and manipulate objects with their hands to explore their properties and just kind of like being aware this is a thing, right? So, so that's a stage. And then toddlers start crawling and exploring their surroundings and might like interact with other people, maybe even a pet, that's a new stage. And then kids start to engage in physical play. They'll start running and jumping and climbing. That's a new stage. So this word, which has no acronym, weirdly, not, not common for our space, not is SMS. not SMS, <laughs> it's S, sensory motor, sensory motor stage. But the sensory motor is one word, that's a weird one. It's really to describe like, how do babies learn to recognize and respond to their environment and different things? And then, you know, you could really extrapolate this out to adults. We have the same, same things that we're dealing with with our senses, um, and you could describe our stage as a sensory motor stage.